Hello everybody, this is Moses from Willowness Cave, and we're going to continue the journey or adventure of Hayden, our hedge witch, in Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, How to Play Solo. So let's begin this episode, of course, with Mythic. Uh, I have a scene set up I'd like to roll on, well you have to roll on it to see if it's been modified. The scene set up that I wrote down is, Helmut the Witch Hunter arrives at the cabin. So let's see if that scene setup has been modified. I'm at a chaos factor of 5, so I roll a d10, and if it rolls a 5 or under, the scene has been modified. So let's just see. Let's drop in a d10. Okay, an 8. So the scene setup I just stated will continue as stated. So we're going to continue where we left off from the last episode. Here we go. So let's roll a d3, and if it rolls on Helmut, that means we got a visitor. Roll d6. There we go, a 6. How did he find us? Well, there's two tables right here that could tell us why. So let's roll on the action table and see what we get. 17. Antagonize. Oh, that sounds like Helmut. 46 on the subject. Food. Okay, I kind of have a feeling on what's going on. So, Helmut always was on her trail. Hayden's trail. Um, don't know what happened with the tunnel. I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say that Helmut noticed how big this tunnel is let's say didn't want to get lost let's say i mean they're not supermen or superman excuse me uh, hel witch hunters so but now they know about the tunnel or he or helmut knows about the tunnel and let's say he didn't tell nobody let's say because he's on the he's on the tail of hayden they've, they've been looking for hayden for a long time and the nobility wants her uh, now we may know why because she's a uh, you know the daughter of nobility um so he doesn't go too far, doesn't meet that guard that Hayden met in the tunnel. Uh, goes back up through Ingo's tavern, you know, Ingo, and, you know, walks over Ingo's body, incapacitated body, if you remember from episode one, or session, or lesson one. And follows the tracks somehow towards Hayden outside the, the, the walls of Ubersreich, and meets up with the cavalry men. So 46. Food. He notices that they're changing the food out. And they all know what a witch hunter is. They all and they all knew that Hayden saved them. The the men. All the men. The captain, the ranger, and all the men knew. You know, word got around. They saw that Hayden found out why, and you know, and the captain screaming that there's poison in the food, and, and they correlated that with that. Hedge witch, that just a very beautiful, unstereotypically beautiful hedge witch, saved them because they would be out and they would have been attacked and they have no horses. Remember, remember that what was it? Balance spy, balance and spy, the last episode. So, regardless, so the witch hunter meets up with the, um, the cavalry men and speaks to the captain and says, What are you all doing? What happened? And they know what a witch hunter looks like. They all tap each other on the side and it's like, Oh, he's probably here for that really beautiful girl. I hope he doesn't recognize or, or uh, uh, perceive that we're lying to him or whatever. Like, we're trying to, we're not going to tell him. The captain told us the promise that we're not going to tell any witch hunter or anybody that we know about her. And the spy was being um, interrogated. That You see how this is going, everybody? How, this, how crazy this could be? How crazy the roles are? Uh, the spy is being interrogated, and the hedge, uh, the hedge witch, excuse me, the witch hunter, um, goes up to the spy and speaks to the captain. And says, "Let me handle this." So I understand that you poisoned all these horses. Why? This, that, the other. The, you know, the spy's like, "It's none of your business, witch hunter. I'm not a witch. Leave me alone. Just kill me. I don't care. I've done my duty. We've stopped the cavalry." on his tracks, and our army's going to come and take him out. Uh, I see, I see. 
And <laughs> Helmut, being Helmut, put, takes out his pistol and points it right to the, the, the spy's head. <laughs> And, and says, you better just, <laughs> doesn't say anything, let's say, and the spy's like, whoa, what are you doing? That was so fast. I, I, you didn't even say hello. <laughs> and, 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 the, and the witch hunter's like, I don't know what hello even is. And he's, you could see him slowly pull on the trigger, and the spy goes, okay, okay, okay. Uh, if you want to know something, I could tell you something that can help. And, um, and the captain and the ranger look at each other. Uh oh, um, the captain and the ranger look at each other, and uh, the witch hunter, you know, slowly lifts up his p pistol, pointing it up to the air. You know, meaning you're safe now in a way. Like I'm not pointing at you. You intrigued me, he says. What do you know that will that will be uh, intriguing to me? And he goes, I heard all the men talking. And everybody's like, you, uh, this at the other, and. In playing this now, in the mind of the captain of the ranger, they want to kill the spy before he says anything. But if they do, the witch hunter is going to know what happened. The, the, the soldiers, are, or the captain at least, is trying to quiet the spy. And that's not good. You never get in the way of a witch hunter. Nobody. Everybody's fearful of the witch hunter. Everyone. Every single thing. Um, so the spy looks at the captain, the captain looks at the spy... And the spy basically says in his mind, I'm dead anyways. So he says, I heard them say there was a beautiful woman that healed the horses. And then he grinds, Helmut grinds his teeth and says, a beautiful woman, huh? And he looks at the captain. And the captain goes, no, this is, it's not true, witch hunter, it's not true. Not true. And this beautiful woman that healed your horses... Did she say she was a hedge witch? No, no, we don't know anything. We don't know anything. Please, just leave us alone. We got to go and fight. You really going to take us out? The army can come and these men have no leader. Yeah, and he, Helmut slowly walks away, puts his pistol, holsters it, and the captain goes, oh, jeez, that was close. And then Helmut quickly turns around and tells the captain, I'll be doing them a service. Who would want to be led by a traitor? And then pulls his weapon out and he goes, no, no, no. Pow! Takes out the captain. <laughs> Take, takes out the captain in one shot. One shot. Man, I've never, I've never had this many people uh, be taken out in any of my series of, uh, ever on this channel. Over 200 videos. But that's Warhammer for you, baby. That's Warhammer. Oh, and it's going to get worse. So anyways, that's how Helmut found out where she was. And then probably interrogated other people or whatever. Who knows what. And they said she went that way with the horse and just followed the horse tracks, basically. So that's how he found her. So now Vrena and Hayden are just having some small talk and, you know, cleaning up some dishes or whatever. All of a sudden, they hear... Someone screaming outside. It's, it's Helmut. And he, you could hear him say, Get out here, witch. I know you're in there. I see your horse outside. Nice and healthy. So there must be another witch inside. Only witches know how to heal a horse of that poison. That purple poison. And then Vigena goes, No. It can't be. And she goes out and looks through a crack on the cottage wall. And then she says, yes, it's him. And Hayden goes, who is it? Is it that crazy witch hunter? And then Vienna goes, yes, but he's not just a crazy witch hunter. He's the best witch hunter in the empire. And this is where it leads. And thanks if you're still watching, by the way. I know this is a longer episode, um, but there's a lot going on. Uh, but this gets very interesting right now. We're going to go on another screen. We're going to actually go on a, um, a Warhammer wiki page, I guess. So, something happened extremely incredible, for me at least, as a journaling hobbyist and solo player. I've never had this happen before. Ever. I really enjoy... It's in my... If I remember, I'll put up a, a card on the screen now. 
on how to play solo. Um, I made I created a list that you could just co jot down or copy paste. I think maybe it's in the description of of the steps I take to play solo uh, role playing, and it's one of my most popular videos on this channel. Uh, but anyways, on that list, I believe I put it. I hope I did. Is that I choose names and I choose a name with meaning. The name is very important to me. It may not be for some, but to me it is. The name of an individual means something. So Hayden has a meaning. Verena has a meaning as well. Helmut does as well. That's why I chose him. I think it was like Savior or something. I can't remember. If I remember in the edit, I'll put it up on the screen right now. Uh, I'll type it up on the screen. But it meant something important that fits his, uh, my idea of that character. But for some reason, and I'm so glad I did it. I'm so glad. For some reason, I searched. And I'll show you right now in a little bit. For some reason, I searched Helmut Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. And let me show you what, what I found. So, you wouldn't believe what happened. There is a Helmut. I just, I, what I do is I search, like, uh, uh, I search old German names. And I went through a few and I saw Helmut. I go, well, that sounds interesting. And I love the meaning of it. But then when I search Helmut uh, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, something incredible happened incredible and let me read it to you there's timestamps if you don't want to listen in which you should because this is going to be the history of helmut right here if you don't want to listen in you could go fast forward if you like helmut van hell does that sound familiar witch hunter helmut van hell also helmut van hall is a descendant of the notorious van hell uh, i think without going through much I, I read a lot of warhammer everybody i have a lot of books and I have almost every book of Avatar, The Last Airbender as well, but that's a side note. Um, I think, and if I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen. I think that was the, um, the first uh, necromancer. This is old Van Hel, that, that, that old word, uh, name, excuse me. So I think, I'll look it up, but I think that's like the first necromancer, I think. Okay, anyways, a descendant of that individual. In 2092, I see, he crossed the border to Sylvania with the force of Strandland, where he burned down the villages, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, let's keep going. Okay, according to the rumors, to kill a vampire, yada, 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 crips, yada, 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 yada. <laughs> everybody's listening on the podcast. Well, what are you doing, Moses? Well, maybe I'll put the link in the description too. Uh, let me hurry it up. Let me see where I read it. And I didn't see it in that page. But I mean, that page obviously had some information. But I did see it in this page. The, the Van Hal, are sometimes spelled Van Hel family, is an ancient lineage of witch hunters that have since dedicated their lives in service to the Church of Sigmar. Oh, here we go. Seeking to atone for the misdeeds of their ancient ancestor, the infamous necromancer, known as Frederick Van Hal. I remember. I remember all that. I, can't, I don't know how I remember this, but I do. Uh, I just love Warhammer. This lineage all began with Frederick, no, mostly famous for Van Hal, the necromancer. Okay, here we go. Due to the shame and the legendary reputation of Frederick Van Hal, the descendants of his line have since dedicated their lives as witch hunters and to the eradication of all vampires and necromancers alike. One, here we go, everybody. One of the descendants, Helmut Van Hel, that's my character. I didn't know, but I, now it is. He's Helmut Van Hal now had personally slain P uh, oh boy hope i don't hope i hope i don't screw this up peter von karstein in his coffin with the unexpected aid of manfred von karstein another descendant of gunther von hall was fame uh, gunther von hall was famous for his attack on the blood keep yada, 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 yada. but watch this the von hall family name is a reference to professor abraham's von helsing a fictional character within the 18th century novel Dracula. In it, Van Helsing is known as an accomplished doctor and polymath and is often portrayed as various adaptations as a vampire hunter and arch enemy of Dracula. So, Helmut is Van Helsing. 
So he was a vampire slayer or a vampire hunter, which there is a whole huge book supplement in second edition, which I have um, about vampires and vampire hunters or slayers. So I'm reading that vis- like every day to learn more about it. But uh, so Helmut is a Van Helsing. Van Hel. Helmut Van Hel. So anyways, so I hope you're still with me. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff, isn't it? That was all random. So now, so um, he's banging on the door saying, out you witches, out, all of you. And uh, Verena goes, we have to get out or he's just gonna come in and shoot both of us without a question. But there's something I know about him. There's something I know. Uh, Let me roll on the fate chart and see what I'm thinking could be true. Um, and if it comes out to be true, a yes answer, I'm just going to do a 50-50. If it comes out to be true, I'm going to say my idea of what Virena's plan is. Let's see. Okay, 50-50. A chaos factor of 5 is a 50 or below is a yes. So let's see what happens. Let's see if she does know what I think she knows. Let's see. 25. She does. 25. So... Okay, now they're outside, and Helmut looks at Verena and says, Ah, Verena, ooh, I've been looking for you for years. Finally, I found you. And all the way out here, why out here with your bloodline? Oh, but I know why, Verena. I know why you are here. He was being sarcastic, I guess, from the beginning. And I think Hayden knows too. Yeah, because in her mind. Yeah, I guess because of the tale in her mind. Um, Vienna responds with, You know why I'm here. And you know why I can't go back. And you know why I did what I did. So I shouldn't be taken out, Helmut. This isn't right. Ah. So you're trying to compromise and make a deal with the great Van Hel. <laughs> What an ego. <laughs> and uh, Virena rolls her eyes and goes, Just shoot me now. I don't want to hear your mouth anymore, Helmut. I'm tired of running from you. And this poor little girl over here running from you for life. Just like I have. Running and running. I'm tired. Just take me out. If you can. And Helmut goes, Oh, if I can, huh? I see. And remember... She knows something about him. And goes, but Helmut looks at Hayden and goes, Oh, don't worry, Hayden. You'll be next. And then I'm going to ride your beautiful horse back to Ubersreich with both of your heads. And, uh, okay, here we go. Um, so she knows something about him. Now, what she knows is, okay, typically with... Um, For the sake of argument, uh, all vampire slayers, which Van Helsing, they Van Hel, they used to be vampire slayers and vampire hunters, then became witch hunters, uh, which are pretty much the same thing. Any any hunting anything evil, basically demonic or whatever. So they don't just become that. They don't go, hey, where are you gonna? What are you gonna be when? You grow up, son. I'm going to be a witch hunter, daddy. No, no one ever says that. That's freaky stuff, okay? Something had to happen to you. Like you had to avenge your death. Like a spoiler alert if you've never seen it. Like Tanjiro from Demon Slayer had to see his family get taken out. And then he stood up to say, I'm going to take out the demons and become a demon slayer. Vampire slayer. Witch slayer. Hunter. Same thing, you know? So something had to happen a lineage or not, lineage or not, you could still be a Van Helsing and not, you know, chase vampires or witches. Something had to happen for him to say, you know what, I need to do my calling and my bloodline because something happened. And what happened was um, his wife and uh, Vrena, I guess, let's say, no, knew her. his wife was supposedly killed by a vampire. But she was so beautiful that the vampire kept her alive, but told, you know, uh, Helmut that she, uh, she, she, we killed her, but they didn't. They lied to Helmut, and um, 
she knows the whereabouts of where she is. They basically transformed her into a vampire. So let's see if Helmut will um, listen to her story. Because you got to remember, a witch hunter is solely focused from Sigmar. I don't care what you have to say, demon. I rebuke you in Sigmar's name, etc., etc. Like an exorcism. <laughs> Which is actually a class in second edition. Exorcist. Anyways, and, you know, trying to cast them out or trying to just shoot them. And that's it. Done. You know? But uh, let's see if Helmut takes the bait. And uh, Vienna says, you know, Helmut, before you kill me, I know something. Something about your wife that you may not know. And Helmut has the weapon, the pistol, to the, the face of Verena. Does he, um, does he pull the trigger? Now, let's see what I, I need to roll on this. Hold on. One moment. I could roll Intimidate, but not really. Let me see. I'll roll Intimidate. <laughs> I just thought about it right now. It doesn't matter because almost everything of Verena is 40. So... And sprinkled here, of, here and there, are fifty, and this is this will not fit. Being a fifty in intimidate for uh, a druid. Um, so, anyways, she's gonna roll for intimidate. It doesn't matter. Everything's forty. So, whatever skill it could be, let me know in the comments. It's also a forty. So, she just has to roll a forty or under, and Helmut will listen to her story. Here we go. D one hundred. Forty or less. 23, okay. So, Helmut slowly puts down his pistol. You know, he is still saddened by all of it, you know. And let's listen, you know. But he has to remember he's been trained to, like, do not listen. This is evil. They're all evil. They're all lying. They're trying to get to your head. And Virena says that your wife was supposedly killed by a vampire. And Helmut goes, yes. But many know that fact, yes. But what they don't know is they didn't just kill her. They brought her back to life with vampiric blood of theirs. Basically, they bit her and then slit their forearm or their wrist and they dripped the blood into her mouth. And uh, Helmut's eyes widen and goes, Are you lying to me? We rolled intimidation. We rolled a good, good uh, skill check, so... She says, no, and I know where she is, Helmut, but if you kill me, you'll never find your wife, although she is a vampire, but you'll never see her again. She's still walking amongst us, and um, we rolled a successful skill check, but um, will he let her go? So let's do an opposed test with Helmut and Verena. Let's see. So Verena will go first. Let's see what she gets. So they're both 40. Let's see what they get. 17. Very good, Verena. Very good. So that is, what is that? That is a plus 3 SL. So she's a plus 3. And let's see what Helmut gets. Oh. <laughs> A hundred. Uh, why do I roll so many of these? So, I mean, okay, well, now the narrative. So, so she got a plus three, which is very good. A plus three, if you want to go with the, uh, the system, what it means. One moment, let me look at the chart. Should be right here. One moment. It's a success. Yes. So there's nothing special about it, but there's no, like, uh, uh, bad things. I love this system, by the way, because the success levels, because it's kind of like powered by the apocalypse. It's a, it's a full success, a success, but a but, and a failure, and a really bad failure, etc. There's like a degrees of success and failures, not just a yes or no answer, in a way, or result. So anyways, so she got a plus three, he got a negative six. His negative six is, really doesn't matter because he lost, uh, uh, astounding failure. No in any way. So, um, and, and plus, it's 100, which is an automatic failure. It doesn't matter. So, this means narratively that Helmut here is very, not touched by what she's saying, but touched in a way of no one's spoken about his wife ever since she was changed, or not, excuse me, ever since she was killed. 
by a vampire, uh, but now he knows she was actually changed, and he just can't believe it. He can't. He can't believe that his wife is still alive, and the whole reason why he uh, followed in his bloodline of being a Van Hel, a Van Helsing, a Van Hel, um, it was because of that happened. And finding out now that she's actually alive, but you know what proof is there in a way. Um, uh, but still, with this, with this hundred, with this hundred of Helmut, a pose roll against Virena's positive three. So that's like what is that? Uh, six, three. That's that's nine success levels away f apart from each other. That's huge. Um, I think Helmut will pretty much listen to anything she has to say. So let's take the dice tray out out of the way. So Helmut, basically, you know what? Helmut just drops his pistols. He had two pistols each hand, and he has a sword too. Um, he has two pistols and a sword, and he just drops both pistols. You just can't believe what he heard. Remember, the roll of 100. It's very unfitting to, see, to, to hear or see Helmut like this, but he rolled 100. Okay? So Virena tells him that you're... Wife, I just got goosebumps right now. I get that a lot when I play solo. My arms got goosebumps when I just thought about. That's why Vrena has a mutation of a tail. She tried to save Helmut's wife. Helmut's wife came to her as a vampire, like transforming into a vampire, but like not fully a vampire yet. And she tried her best to help her to stop the transformation. And she had to result to dark ways or did a horrible miscast, which probably could have happened actually, regardless of the fact the mutation is a mutation. And she tells Helmut this. She goes, Helmut, you have been following me for years when, they, when someone caught me having my tail. And then Hayden, and then she looks at Hayden when she says that, like maybe she kind of knew she noticed, maybe, you know? Uh, and Hayden just like kind of bows her head down a little bit, like meaning I knew about it uh, as well. And, and she tells, she goes back to Helmut and says, Helmut, you, you knew what I tried to do for you. But yet you chased me. I was like a sister to you. And you chased me. I was one of the most prestigious professors of the Colleges of Magic. And they threw me to the side after I tried to save someone's life. It didn't work. It was a horrible miscast. And now I'm mutated for life. I'm trying my best to get this mutation off. But you won't care about that, will you, Helmut? Even if I try to save your wife. And Helmut just... Not totally put, tilts his head down, but kind of tilts his head down a little bit. You could just see the brows of his eyebrow, of his eyes underneath the brim of his hat now. You know, he's basically bowing his head down a little bit, like kind of submissively. There is a chance, though, Helmut. What I did for her did partially work. But more work needs to be done. But it's still very dangerous. And Helmut heard that and put his head up and just was surprised at what she said he, he couldn't believe it and then she said I know where she was taken Helmut but I'm afraid if I tell you that right now you'll just hear what I have to say and then shoot us after I tell you can you promise me Helmut that you won't shoot me after I tell you I'm not gonna roll on it he he says I I am bound by Sigmar. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Bound by Sigmar. Sigmar, Sigmar, Sigmar. Yes. I thought you were bound by love first. Helmut. And he just, like, he made a mm, sound, like, kind of like agreeing, but kind of like, how dare you? You know? Anyways, so, Vrena tells him, I will tell you where she is, or where they took her, at least. As to her exact location, I do not know, but I do know where they took her. 
And then she bends down and grabs a flat stone. Like you see the flat stones here, kind of like the pathway stones. She grabs one, like digs her nail underneath the dirt and picks it up, you know, wipes off the bugs and the worms underneath the, 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 the flat rock. And she, let's say, casts like she puts her hand, basically doing magic, <laughs> basically doing magic in front of a witch hunter, which is, uh, yeah, that's a good idea. But in this context, it is. Uh, she puts she puts her hand over the the stone, the flat stone, and uh, red and orange light emits from her hand, and sparks come out from the the rock, from the flat stone in her other hand. And what's happening is is she's writing, and after a little while, she stops. And then holds the rock in her hand and says, I'm going to get on this horse with Hayden. And we're going to leave from here. Away from you. And we do not want you to follow us anymore, Helmut. But when we get down further in this pathway, I'm going to toss this rock back to you. And Helmut just like, remember the pistols are still on the floor. And Helmut just puts his grasps each of his hands together and puts it in front of his stomach, basically saying, I, I agree. Remember, roll of 100. I agree. And uh, Verena... Yeah, actually, let's go over here. Uh, the horse. Make the horse bigger because it's closer to us now. The horse. Hayden a little bit bigger too. Not too big. Uh, the horse, Hayden. And... Verena, Hayden, Verena are on top of the horse. They're going to go this direction, by the way. They're not going to go this direction. <laughs> They're going to go away from the witch hunter and go off into the distance. And Helmut is keeping a close eye on them, riding away. And all of a sudden, Verena turns around on the horse and throws the rock at Helmut. And he catches it with one hand. And then he turns the rock over. And he sees a word, and that word is Lustria. And with that, we conclude this episode. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're enjoying this series. If you have any questions on how to play solo role-playing, let me know in the comments below. I'm trying my best. This is a lot of work, everybody. <laughs> but I'm trying my best. I'm trying to make it as entertaining as possible and educational as much as possible. Um, that's one of my slogans of this channel. Um, I hope I'm demonstrating to you, uh, I, in this session alone, I've gotten goosebumps twice. I'm, I'm enjoying it as much as you are through interpretations. And it looks like uh, our uh, Van Helsing witch hunter slash vampire slayer is going to be heading to a new area finally created by Cubicle 7, or, I mean, anybody. Thank you, Cubicle 7. But finally, we have Lustria, a book. Not out yet. Uh, I have the PDF, but I don't have the physical book. It's not out yet. Uh, but Lustria has a vampire coast. Uh, vampires and the, I think, uh, the lore of them, I have to read more about it, uh, but the lore of them is that they have undead crew. Like, they're, pi they're pirates. Or, if not, they're on the island as well, and they have, uh, like, their henchmen or their, their workers, pretty much, are undead. Uh, but that they are pirates, so uh, we might be going on a tangent here. We might have two stories going on. So, uh, we have a, a druid, a Virena, if you're still with me, by the way, and we have to go through Mythic, close it out. If you're still with me, Virena is a druid Witch. Okay? After a while, when she was in this cottage by herself, she started doing witchcraft. So now we have a hedge witch and a witch. It's fitting, you know? They're both witches and they're both half-sisters. Hayden does not know that Vrena is her half-sister and Hayden does not know that her father is part of the nobility and probably has something to do with them being chased everywhere, trying to clear out his name, you know? Now, all of a sudden... Um, what do you call it? Uh, Vrena is on the run because she's mutated. Nobility can't, nobility can't have that in the family, and nobility can't have hedge folk in the family. Um, 
etc. So we have all this going on. So we have them running off. They are going to another area north of this location. This location on the hedge, i.e. the edge, hedge, that's why it's called hedge folk, um, on the edge of a forest right above Ubersreich. If I have a map, I'll show it. If not, uh, if I forget, my apologies. Um, but they're going to be heading north. They are, they are trying to get to a certain location. I don't want to divulge right now. Um, but uh, there's going to be a long way to go. But luckily, they got a horse. And um, so this solo adventure doesn't mean you have to play solo as in one player. I have played uh, in groups of uh, four or even five characters in my party. Um, it gets harder. It gets harder. But it also gets hard being alone. It's not easy. And I suggest after going through this that if you do play a solo character, one character, start out with 300 XP with the system. And then if you randomize, up to 150 XP more. That's per the rule book. But start out with a guaranteed 300 XP. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not easy. And there's a lot of house rules. We haven't gotten to combat yet really. Um, um, all that much or at all and there's some house rules i have for fourth edition um but yes so we have hayden going one hayden and Vrena going one way and helmut probably going on a big galleon i don't know we're gonna find out there's gonna be two story arcs in this how to play solo role playing with warhammer fantasy role play so we go to mythic let me go through a quick uh this okay any new characters? Vrena, a druid witch. Now, she doesn't know she's a witch, but I put her down as a witch. And that's why she uh, was kicked out of the, um, the college in Altdorf. Uh, one of the reasons why. Uh, it was from the cards, call, call to adventure cards. Kind of, uh, I interpreted it that way. So, uh, she started with what happened with Helmut. She started going into witchcraft to try to, I guess, like, cure herself of the mutation and she went to the dark magic uh, to do that. Um, anybody else? Uh, now we know that the captain of the cavalry is gone. So I'm going to put died on that one. I have Ingo died as well. So there's already two deaths on the um, character list. Threads. Heal horse. Run away from Helmut. Okay, you know what? Run away from Helmut is a check because of that hundred roll. That hundred uh, opposed test role of Vigena and Helmut. So, check. We are no longer running away from Helmut. Unless something drastic happens. Um, any new threads? So, the threads that we have still, Hayden tries to become a citizen again in Ubersreich. Or tries to get back into Ubersreich and you know, not be uh, harassed. Um, and find the hedge folk, okay? And those, um, those sound pretty good right now. Uh, and that's a chaos factor. Okay. Uh, well, we did really well. We did really well again. Um, so chaos factor is going to go down to four. And that not is not necessarily a great thing. Sometimes, sometimes you get to the three twos and ones and seven, eight, nines, which is extremely rare. I've never, I've only been in that area once and... Things can get really swingy, and you have to really be careful how you ask questions of the fate chart. So, yeah. So, uh, I think I'm looking around. I have my GM screen, my paperwork. I have my, my tables full of stuff. Um, but, once again, I hope you enjoy this episode. This is the first role-playing game I've ever played was first edition. And I simply love it. It's the third, number three on my all-time favorite list of role-playing games. So, happy gaming, everybody. Bye.